Hey guys, welcome to my first look at Anodyne. This is a game that's available on Desura for $10, and it is really, really, really good. It's, um, it's, it's a, it's a Zelda-like. It's not a 3D Zelda, but, uh, like an old 2D Zelda game. It's drawing a lot of comparisons to, uh, Zelda Link to the Past, but I think that's actually, uh, inaccurate. I, I think it bears the most resemblance to, actually, Link's Awakening, which was on the, uh, Game Boy Pocket and later the Game Boy Color. And, uh, that's really cool for me, because that was my first ever Zelda game, so playing this game is just so... It, it feels great. So we're gonna start a new game here. And, uh, yeah, really. I, I know, I know. Alright. <laughs> it really wants to make sure that you're deleting your save on purpose. So, anyway, I before we get started here, I just want to say that this is almost certainly going to be a Let's Play as well, so consider this the first look as well as Episode 1 of Let's Play Anodyne. I'm enjoying this game so much, so let's get started. Mysterious voice. Hello? Young? Hey, listen. Oh, you can hear me. Good. You are about to wake up. You will use the arrow keys to move around, so we got a very standard, like, dreamlike introduction to this game. I'm moving around, I'm actually using a D-pad and I highly recommend uh, that. There's no um, like native controller support yet because Flash is kind of terrible for that sort of thing, but I'm using Joy to Key and it works just fine. Use the C key or my A key or A button to interact with objects in the world. And there's just, this is a very simple like two input, you know, you've got the D-pad to move around, you've got an A button and a B button essentially, they use C and X in the game as well as a uh, start button, which is enter. And we can use enter to look at all this stuff. Very standard video game stuff, it's basically if you've ever played a Game Boy before in your life, you'll be very comfortable with these controls, especially if you map them to a controller as I have. There's writing scrawled on this ro rock. Sometimes if you talk to people multiple times, they have new things to say. Good stuff, but not rocks. Rocks don't do that. Alright. Little cheeky dialogue there. I like this game, it has a great sense of humor, and it's, it just feels so Zelda-like in its uh, in its pr presentation and gameplay and everything, it's awesome. Well, it's about time, er, I mean. Greetings, young, I am Sage, the village elder. You have been summoned here because the darkness has spread across the land. The darkness seeks the legendary briar. To use the briar's power for evil, you must reach it first. You must protect the bri briar. Good, sounds good. The village ed elder in name o only, for he is neither. So he is neither old nor a village, I guess is what it's trying to say. Uh, enter the active portal on your left to begin your quest. While standing on a checkpoint, press C to save your progress and set it as your respawn point if you die. So we're definitely going to do that, just in case, so I don't see it being a problem. And it told us to go left, but of course, like any video gamer, first thing I did was try going up and right, but uh, unfortunately, they're right, you have to go left first. So let's get go left and get into the game proper. And we're going to end up on this broken down street. Might as well save here. Well, I guess it's not broken down. Is it just kind of barricaded a little bit? But uh, yeah, let's start wandering around. So we see enemies and uh, with no weapon yet, not really a lot we can do about them. So we're going to move in a different direction here for the time being. And treasure chest. An engraving on the broom handle reads, press C to sweep. That is a strange engraving. Uh, but now we have our sword, and as you can see, if you've played uh, both Link to the Past and Link's Awakening, you should see now why I say that this is a lot more similar to Link's Awakening, uh, in that, you know, our movement is kind of vaguely grid-based. It's not really, actually. I'm wrong about that. Uh, but it kind of feels like it to me anyway. But also, the, uh, the attack just goes straight out instead of being an arc. Which I prefer, because that's what I got used to. The Link to the Past always feels a little bit weird to me, with the arc of the sword. So we got a key. And, you know, if you've ever played a video game before, I'm gonna use that on the, like, strange lock, like, block. And it will just disappear in a poof of smoke, similar to Isaac or any other video game ever. What the hell is happening? Ah, <laughs> I was supposed to keep walking during that. Strange ghost in that area. No problem, though. Your broom is now full of da dust. A attack again to place it. So this is kind of a cool uh, mechanic. These uh, motes of dust can actually block shots and so forth for us. 
So later on we'll be solving some puzzles by sweeping up dust and putting it back down. Okay. Sorry about that, I was going way too fast. Yeah, it seems that way. I, where were you trying to go that I caused you to swerve into that wall is my question. Never seen you before. Are you a fellow traveler? Yeah, I guess so, sure. You want to protect the briar from the evil darkness. I have no clue what you're talking about, but sounds cool, I guess. Yeah, man, super cool. I'm way too cool for you. Well, maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. Man, I wanted to steal her bike this time. Last time I I didn't do that. But uh, she's just going to take off. Random character. I'm sure we'll see more of her later on. This game has kind of an earthbound -y vibe in addition to the zelda -y vibe. Like, the gameplay is all Zelda, but the characters seem maybe a little bit earthbound to me. Though I'm still very early in. Like, you saw me delete my save. I was uh, 15 minutes into the game, and some of that was trying to figure out how to get the screen the size I wanted it for recording. But, uh, Rock, I'll bet you're reading a Rock because you don't have any friends. Pretty piercing depiction of my life, thanks, video game. That's exactly what I needed to hear right now. Let's go ahead and wander down here and find a chest. Sad dude. So that's our first card. I don't mind being watched by the trees, that's pretty weird. Um, but this this game does a, a common thing where you can get cards of you know characters as well as enemies in the game and they're just kinda scattered around as collectibles. I don't know if they're important yet. Can't actually get past that gate yet. But I'm just trying to wander a little bit. You know, simulate this being my first time playing, but very quickly it is going to be my first time playing again. I've only played this game enough to get through the very first dungeon. And then by that point I was like, you know what? I'm fucking sold. Let's play. I'm going to stop spoiling this game for myself. Because that is how much I like this game. It is so good. So good. So we'll just continue onward here. I mean, look at it. Look at the, the sound direction is so good. It's like, you know, the, the title screen music is great and all of the other music. And then now it's like really suspenseful and so forth. The graphics are so good. Soon your skills will be put to the test, young. In order to make it through this temple alive, you will need both strength and intellect. I, and I assume that by this point you have found a weapon? Yeah, man. Got a broom. I mean, yeah, sure. Broom. Yeah, good. <laughs> Just as it was foretold in the legend. Of all the incompetent. Hey, what are you still standing here for? Keep your wits about you, young. Alright. Will do, man. Don't worry. This broom's awesome. I've seen a broom in a legend. It was on the map of a janitor closet. Oh man, even the statues. Well, fuck you guys. And let's really quickly move over this way. That's a teleporter we just activated, which will take us back to that hub world. Once a man came and installed a mirror in our bathroom. I was afraid that there was a hidden camera inside of it. I scoured every inch of the wooden frame, spraying Murphy's oil soap into the cracks, thinking I might short circuit the wires, of course. I never found anything. So that's the dude who is on our trading card. I still don't know anything about him, but he seems like quite a strange character to me. But anyway, yep, not really a lot we can do over there. I wonder if at some point we'll find a way to destroy trees. I'm not really sure yet. But anyway, here we are in dungeon number one. Very Zelda style. Uh, yeah, we've got even like these eye statues, man. They remind me so much of Link's Awakening. And uh, these guys probably look familiar to any Zelda fan as well. You have to hit them in the back. If you hit them in the front, you just kind of knock them back a little bit. We've got a key, which of course is always handy in dungeons like these. I'm sure we'll find a use for that very soon. Obviously, if you stand on these for too long, and you fall down and lose a piece of health. I don't know why that statue down there is kind of upset. That one too. Huh. Very strange. But anyway... Peripheral vision is the hive of demons. Not sure what you mean by that, Rock. But okay. Oops. So as you can see, we can use this dust to block the laser beams. And by doing so, we can move onward. Fairly simple, like, first mechanic. I assume that later on this game will become a lot more challenging. Uh, like, puzzle-wise. But, you know, for right now, first dungeon, so... 
it's basically going to take you no time. I wonder, every time I see a rock formation like this, I've been trained by Zelda to be like, I wonder if I can push those. But so far, I've not actually found a pushable rock in this game. But, you know, obviously without that dust there, we never could have made it, but if we just move the dust, then we're all good. Um... Good, open the doors. Let's actually move downward first. Because I think there's a secret down here. But first, of course, standard Zelda trope. Kill all the things in the room before you progress. And we'll get another key. Which is always handy. And move onward. Man, I, I just... I cannot even express how fucking enthralled by this game I am. So, this puzzle is a little bit tricky. Took me about two minutes. No, probably less than that. You gotta knock the dude onto the other switch. Yeah, two minutes is actually an absurd estimate now that I think about it. It's probably like 45 seconds, but it feels like a long time. You're trying to solve a video game puzzle sometimes. Uh, there's actually... Oh, so I was gonna say there's no need for this dust pile, and then I immediately walked into a laser. That was good. Good going. Ah! What? Oh, I accidentally picked up the dust. Fool. Never pick up the dust. Is this door not gonna open? I guess we have to go somewhere else first. So let's do that. Or actually, I think there might be a secret down here. I don't know, man. I'm trying to 100% this game so far anyway. Probably later on. Ah, there's something over this way. Yeah, number of ways we can go, obviously. I'd like to, to save time, try to finish everything in the dungeon before getting to the boss. Oh my god, I can't believe those both hit me. I tried some speedrun tactics there, not working out for me, but I'm sure we'll get yep, some health very shortly. So no big deal. No harm, no foul. Like I said, so far, game's super easy. Oops. We found a goo blob. Jello there, young. So goo to flanly meet you. Why don't you set for a minute? I was just putting on some tea. Oh, man. Puns. Truly the highest form of humor. Let's go ahead and pop into this locked door. Oh, go! Oh, <laughs> oh no! We got trapped. Uh, why? Why is this even a place you can be? Alright. It seems like a waste of a key, man. I didn't realize that before. There's like no reason at all to spend that key. Oh! Maybe I had to be up there to kill the enemy to get through the door. That makes sense. Uh, but anyway, yeah, let's go through this door. Ah, here we are at the boss. Perfect. So I didn't actually do it correctly. But right, anyway. Precious little young playing the hero. But I've witnessed every step you have taken in the land. And let me tell you, young, not everyone here is as honest as me. Be careful who you trust. So, this is a very video gamey boss fight. He has some things floating around him and he's gonna go diagonal and try to hit us. And we'll also have to use the mechanic that we learned in this dungeon. Which is the dust. We can use that to block his laser beam. And then he's gonna go back to going diagonal. Very simple boss fight, but hey, what can I say? It's the first one. I will be with you, young, whenever you are alone, and remember my advice on your little adventure. Yes, yes, yes. Alright, so let's really quickly... Oh, of course, we gotta pick up the fairy. Because what kind of Zelda game would this be without fairies? What is it doing? That's weird. I couldn't move for that whole thing, by the way. I'm not sure what that, uh, what that, like, black stuff was about, but anyway. Oh, no, we can't get this way. Damn it. <laughs> All right, really quickly, before we find out what happened after we killed that boss, I do want to get this last secret over here, because I think there's a way to just teleport out of the dungeon after this, so why waste the time, right? Get out of my way. So how do you guys think we could possibly open that, uh, that gate to that chest? I don't know man, I'm kind of out of ideas. 
maybe I'll just kill all the enemies in the room. Would you look at that? That did it. So we've now got another card. Ookchot. My mom always warned me about the dangerous Ookchot. Okay. Pretty weird. Uh, oh, actually, we have to leave that there. The other one. And we'll just really quickly make our way back to the boss room. No, use the thing. Ah. <laughs> What kind of let's play would it be without some stupid damage for no reason whatsoever? Ah well. That's fine. So here's the village elder at this point. At this point you are still weak. If you hope to protect the briar from the darkness, you must face your fears. The card you will find in this chest and others like it are symbols of your growth. So acquiring them is absolutely vital to your quest. I'm not sure if he's being sarcastic. But there's our card. I will be with you young whenever you are alone. It's pretty weird. That key will also play an important role in your quest. You must seek out other keys as well. Select the map on the menu screen to teleport back to the temple's entrance and continue your heroic quest. Will do. So because this is a video game, the key's going to fly around a little bit. And I'm going to drink some tea while it's doing it. Acquiring cards is vital to your quest. Acquiring cards is also vital for other quests, such as earning credit or purchasing alcoholic beverages. Sage advice. Travel east and south through the temple grounds. You will find a use for that key. So you guys remember that gate that we passed earlier? Oh, wait a minute. Is there a... No, okay. I was looking at the map and I saw, like, a door to the left and then I just realized the map had moved over. So anyway, let's teleport back and hop into this teleport which takes us back to the outside of the dungeon let's see if this guy has anything new to say actually you said you defeated the seeing one ha don't you get that it doesn't work that way you're just spraying oil soap in the cracks weird dude man so implying that there is no no uh... no evil I have a feeling that guy's going to play an important part later on. And I also have a feeling that the sage is going to turn out being evil, because again, this is a video game. And your mysterious guiding mentor, you know, it's almost like a, a betrayal of expectation if he isn't evil at this point. But anyway, let's move forward. I have no idea what the deal with this gate is. It has the number four on it. But I'm sure we'll find out later on. We'll probably get some sort of item to open it. I'm wondering, I it's weird to me that there was no item in the first dungeon, so I'm wondering if uh, there are going to be items in this game Zelda style, or if it's going to be more of a pure experience with just our trusty broom. The words on the sign are faded. Okay. Wow, this is a totally different visual style. I've never... We're now in blind Let's Play territory. I've never actually been here before. But this is a cool looking place. Hey look, we got talking animals. You're young, the chosen one. Oh my gosh, what an honor. My name is Meow Zhao. <laughs> Meow Zhao Tuan Air. Chosen one in training. That's pretty funny. Could I follow you around for a bit to watch a chosen one in action? Yeah, sure. Let's go. So now I have a cat. Awesome. We can walk across the water. Here's another teleport. What's that cool stone thing, young? Does it make you go back in time? Yes. That's what it does. Meows how I love that. What's up? What are you doing here, punk? Get lost. I caught it fair and square. Yeah. Is that another cat? Ah! <laughs> So, standard video game trope, that guy was just gonna stand in the way with his box. Like, he can't just move a little bit so we can get past. Something is inside it. Another cat? What is going on here? Oh, hey, Meow. I'm so glad you're safe. <laughs> what is happening? Yeah, no problem, man. <laughs> he kinda likes sitting in boxes. Well, I'm sorry to have disturbed your good time then. Let's quickly just check around to make sure there's no uh... ah well we can't get through there so clearly at some point we're gonna get an item to, to get rid of rocks which is good, I, I prefer that, I would I would be a little bit put out if this was not a Zelda experience and that there's no items 
We shouldn't go where it's unsafe. See you later, young. All right, see ya. Uh, God, I want to... I want to explore! There's so many places I want to go. Got some dust. I'm not... I don't think that serves any purpose here. Because we you can't take the dust off screen, by the way. But hey, look, a shop. Welcome, welcome, my friend Young. Your name's Prazenthoff. Finty Prazenthoff. Some great names here. Take a look around in my shop and see if anything catches your eye. Well... Hmm. What is this? You need a better weapon, don't you? Blow your enemies to pieces for only four ninety nine ninety nine. 99 Good. That money sack will allow you to accumulate money that you find in the land. It's yours for a mere $869.99. Come on, man. Here's a specialty item indeed. Clip in bike shoes so you can be speedy and stylish. On sale now for just $299.99. Alright. Ah! We'll give him my box. Wow, he gave us some biking shoes. Cool. I was kind of expecting the money sack, honestly, but okay. Oh, man. Yeah, I have a feeling that we can't actually have any of those items. I'm calling it in here. But anyway, let's wander around the forest some more. Hey, it's this girl. Mitra, okay. Oh, can we steal her bike? Ah, apparently my name is on the back of my hoodie. Good to know. West Beach, East, uh, West Beach, East Forest, Southeast Rainy Area. Okay. And North Temple Grounds. And Northwest Ch uh, Chasm. Alright. I want your bike. How did I know your name? Oh, come on. I did I wasn't trying to talk to you, I was just trying to interact with your bicycle. Alright, well, guess we can't have the bike yet, but obviously eventually we'll be able to take her bike. What happens if we go down here into the ocean? Oh, we'd probably die. Yep, we'll <laughs> definitely die, alright. Oh, can we get back out? Uh Are you fucking kidding me? I'm gonna die here? No! Okay, there we go. Had to make it to the shallow water. I thought that I was stuck there forever. I didn't realize that I could walk out of the current. Which, uh... Is actually pretty stupid now that I think about it. But, anyway. The words on it are faded. Alright, well... Alright, so now we're at the beach. Seems cool. God, this game is beautiful. I'm really a fan of this. Standard fishing Zelda guy. Oh, wait. I, I didn't mean to... I wanted to talk to you. <laughs> Fuck. South? Question mark? Okay, good. North? Question mark? What is going on? <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, let's uh, let's wander around this area now, I guess. The words on the sign are faded. Good. Good, I'm so glad there's so many signs that are not going to tell me anything. What the fuck? Am I allowed to talk to this thing? No? Okay, well. Doesn't seem to be hurting anybody. We got more goos. I'm just going to kill these guys to see if something happens. Didn't think so, but... You never know. There's another giant, like, fucking silt strider, basically. <laughs> Weird, man. Get away from me, alright. Well, actually, I'm serious, leave me alone now. Aw. I <laughs> didn't, again, did not intend to kill that guy. Just kind of happened. Not the first time I've said that sentence. But it is the first time I've said it to somebody who's not the police. What is happening here? Weird place, man. Oh, come on. <laughs> it's self-destructing on me now. I guess I probably should have just left him alone. It's 
signs indicate the trees have not been active for an extended period of time. Okay. Hey, a silt surrender card. What is that thing? Where is it? Sometimes the answer is taking a walk. Okay. It doesn't even tell us the name of the enemy. I, f I find that very odd. Okay, so we're not going to talk to that guy. We're just going to leave him alone, because every time I talk to those guys now, they just explode and cause damage to me. Alright, open another warp gate. Always good. Is this a new dungeon? It does appear that way. We are born into the decay of our mother's body. Wow, this is, this is getting pretty dark. But anyway, having just entered a new dungeon, I think I'm going to call it quits on episode one of Let's Play Anodyne. But uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series, and in the next episode we'll explore this dungeon and see more about what the deal with this awesome, awesome game is. By the way, if you're looking at this just for the first look, uh, make sure to check this out on Desura. I'll give you the... Um, the link to the page in the description. You should definitely go and purchase this. I recommend everybody to purchase this. If you've ever enjoyed a 2D Zelda game in your life, this is going to make you feel very happy to purchase this game. And uh, also, I think they have a green light page. I'll try to find a link to that and put that in the, the, the description as well. I absolutely think this game deserves to be on Steam, so you should definitely vote for it there. But anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.